What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Project to manage your projects and tasks. So let's get right to it. First of all, you need to go to the Microsoft Project page. Uh, simply, the simplest way to do so is to open a new Google search and search for Microsoft Project. Okay, and click on the first link, the project management software. Now, the Microsoft project is part of the Microsoft 365 suite of apps. However, it does come with a separate subscription. So if you click here on products and pricing, and as you can see here, these are the plans and you can go ahead and compare the plans to see which one fits better your uh, situation. Now, if you go here back here to the project and I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft account. And as you can see here, it says that my subscription doesn't include the Microsoft project. So I'll just close this tab and let's take a look and find out more about this platform here. So it's a project management software from Microsoft that is easy and simple to use, beginner friendly. And of course, it integrates pretty well with all the Microsoft suite of apps, including Microsoft Teams and other 365 apps. And here you can stay on track with all your projects and tasks track them effortlessly and easily keep an eye on what's missing and what is done as well as improving your vision and results with business intelligence here so you can integrate it and collaborate with your team members and also you have the power to innovate here you have the uh, flexible tools that you can use the flexible and powerful tools that you can use to accomplish all your projects planning and here's some testimonials as well as a button here to start seeing the plan and prices so I'm gonna sign in once again and though I cannot like create new projects however I can see the projects that are assigned to me so if someone like assigns you or tags you in a project and you don't have the uh, subscription that includes Microsoft project you can still see this project and edit it so here this is the hub where I can see all my projects here of course, I can get the planner app here to start planning. And you can see here a test project that I created earlier. Now, if I click here on a new plan, I can create a blank new plan or a simple plan here in a Kanban view, project management, software development, employee onboarding and business plan. So let's get the project management. Okay, I'll just name it project uh, one or project two. I can add to existing group and I can see the pri I can set it to public or private. Let's set it to private and then create. So I can create a plan. However, I cannot still yet access all the features of the Microsoft project. And as you can see, my project is now created. Now I have some sample tests. And as you can see, the tasks are laid in a Kanban view, similar to what you will find in tools like Trello or other project management platforms. And here are the columns or the list. So this is the initiating where I can add all my tasks that are not yet planned. In planning here, I have the tasks that I'm currently planning, currently executing, monitoring and controlling and closing or done. I can add new bucket or new list. Let's say, for example, the bucket list is uh, failed. So for tasks that are failed, okay, I can add a task here right off the bat. If I click on add tasks, let's say, for example, buying milk okay this is a, a failed task i can set a due date i can assign it to someone and as you can see here the task is now added now i can drag the card of the task here to any uh like field or any uh list here let's say this is failed however i came up afterwards and managed to uh do it so i'll move it to closing and i'll check it here to uh make sure that this task is now completed and if i click on the task i can open the task setting so here it's it's in the bucket or the list of closing it's completed or in progress or not yet started the priority i can set the priority medium urgent not so urgent and important i can start a due date here start date due date and i can make it a recurring task to repeat daily weekly bi-weekly or others I can add a note right here, add a checklist, attach file, add comment and uh, integrate or add, assign it to other people. Now, here, let's close it. 
and here as you can see it's now urgent if i tap on it i can change the urgency here to low urgency and i can move the card along to any list or any bucket as they are called in microsoft project now here if i go to the initiating as you can see here this task has three or two subtasks here so you can add subtasks by adding checklist into the main task so the task is identify goals and objectives and you have two checklists define the primary objective define the primary goal so here if i check these two for example now the task is completed and i can check it as a completed task and here of course i can add a drawing if i want to and uh, add all the settings that i showed you earlier priority start date due date repeat and etc now here i can even like check one of the two tasks i can rearrange them i can add other items if i want to now here i can copy the task move it copy link to task and delete it if i want to and here i can add label so this is awaiting approval i can add other label if i tap on the label here i see all the labels that i have so awaiting review and all the labels are coded by color so here the red for example i can edit the label to say in review okay and the yellow for example is accepted and the green okay and the green is um need more time so you get the point here and i can add as many uh, tags as i want let's add tags to this task for example add a label this task is in review i'm currently reviewing it okay close it and as you can see all the changes are done in real time so here i can view this task as well this task now is a recurring task that is repeated yearly conduct team performance reviews of course these are some sample tasks just to show you the different like functionalities different features of the platform here the planner um, however you can just delete all of these and add your own task and start from scratch and of course all of your tasks are saved so this is the main board view i can have the tasks in a grid view normal table view where i can view them like uh, all at a at once at a glance I can have a chart view to see all the statistics which ones are uh, still not done the uh, priority the status the buckets and so on and in a schedule or a calendar view to see all of the dates that my tasks are due in i can view it weekly or monthly and i can even hide future recurring tasks so that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to use the microsoft project platform in order to plan your projects and tasks